all right get these sand spikes dug in real good here get some bait thrown out and we'll see what is wanting to cooperate to all right guys welcome back to the channel if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button because why would you not want to listen to my annoying voice and see my ugly face for 10 minutes a week i mean it's a win-win situation but today i'm going to go over some winter surf fishing tactics so let's check it out Get on this guy there we go caught up to him there i might have my i have my drag just a little loose because he didn't really hammer it but this might be an all right fish i do like the way he's pulling i'll tell you that i'm not gonna dare even say what i think the possibility of it could be we don't we don't say that <laughs> that is a pompano Whew! all right guys that there he fell off that is the first pompano i have caught in a long time and i believe he's going to be a keeper we'll get him measured real quick oh no doubter <laughs> all right guys they still exist there are still pompano in alabama this is the first pomp i have caught in a while I i've got i've got a couple trips out here that i've got people on a couple undersized pompano but that is the first keeper pompano i've caught in almost two months so i am super excited for this guy and he's going home with me now one of the best things you can do to help increase your success i'm not gonna say it's gonna happen because there, there's days i come out here and i can't even make it happen for myself um but one thing you can absolutely do to try to increase your odds of catching fish during the winter time is downsize everything stop using your 20 25 30 pound liters try to drop down to that 10 12 15 pound range it's just less obvious it's it's not as easy to get picked out especially if it's a calm clear day and we get a lot of those in the winter time it can it can be really clear and calm especially if we have some north winds so by downsizing your line downsizing your hooks as well if you're only going to target pompano and whiting the absolute max you need to go on circle hook size is a one off a one a size just one no op just a one those are even better um, and and with whiting you can go even smaller but just minimize the appearance of your rigs out there that's going to probably help you catch more fish trying to move rods around and then this guy down here gets a hit all right here i was thinking that this little trough real close to the hey it pulled a little bit i was just sitting there say this little trough right here next oh he no he's still on there he's still on there oh it's another oh my goodness are these guys gonna run today oh, oh come on buddy come in with this wave right here oh my gosh i just lost the pump right there oh that dude was so close too he was inside this trough right here and i i really expected to have several whiting be fairly active in that trough and nothing that was the first hit i've got on that that was another keeper pump too and hopefully you can see where he literally came off right there where the waves meet the sand uh, come, come out of there oh, i don't want that drag tight yeah pull some of that drag buddy all right it's another solid fish on here he was pulling real good what we got I saw a little flash a second ago come on come on come on buddy oh. 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 all right guys the pompano are running this evening that is awesome that is so awesome that's another keeper if I hadn't lost that one, man, I would have, I'd have had a limit of pompano in an hour today, man. That, and these guys are close. I mean, that's two on my widening rods. Those widening rods 
are in really close. They are not far out whatsoever. Um, but I did catch that one first pompano out a good little way, so. But they're running tonight. All right, guys, we got pompano number two of the evening. One more, we got a limit, and that's, like I said, that's awesome. This is the first time I've got into pompano in almost two months, guys. I, I hadn't gone two weeks without catching a pompano starting in March. So from March all the way to October, I was catching pompano every week. And then all of a sudden, the end of October gets here, November shows up, and then these guys were just a nightmare to find. But I've got two keepers tonight. We'll see if we can get that third one. I'll tell you what I've set up on today. We've got a sandbar right here. That's what those waves are breaking on. They're breaking on that sandbar. And there's this, this narrow little trough that runs right through here. But right here, it kicks back out and it starts to go farther away from the beach. So what I'm doing, I'm targeting these fish that are gonna be cruising around this bend. And hopefully there'll be several that wanna kinda follow this structure through here and I'll, I'll catch several fish tonight, but you just never know. You, you can set up on a really good spot and you catch nothing. Then other days it seems like you set up and there's nothing there to catch fish on and you catch fish there. I was running over here and I hit my hit my GoPro to start recording and nothing happened. I'd, I'd been recording for like the past 10 minutes, just recording absolutely nothing. Got another, another decent fish on here. I'm glad I realized my GoPro was shut off after I pushed the button instead of turning it on, or I'd miss this guy here. Come on in. All right. That is a limit of pumps, guys. There it is. There's number three. There's my Alabama pump limit for the evening. I am pumped. I. I, I I don't even know what to say at this point. That is just too cool. That is, this is the best evening of fishing I've had in a while. I've been, I've been needing a day like this. I can't thank the good Lord enough that it, it finally came together tonight. Super excited. And I still got time to fish, so we'll see what else I can get. Now, you need to continue to target whiting and pompano throughout the winter. And, and the main reason is those are our two main species we catch from the surf. They're the two that you can catch most of the time year round. Yeah, you might stumble into a flounder randomly in the winter, spring, summer, and fall, but a majority of the fish that you can target year round are pompano and whiting. Uh, if you want to target reds and black drum, go ahead, but just realize if you're throwing cut bait, you're not going to catch the pompano and whiting. It's just, it's not going to happen. But when you're, when you're targeting the pompano and the whiting, those red and black drum will still hit the bait that the pompano and whiting hit. So it's going to be a kind of a bonus bycatch, but it's a good bonus. And, and you're still going to catch more pompano and whiting that way by not throwing cut bait, which basically completely eliminates catching them. Got another, got another good fish right here. Oh my goodness, I think it's another pomp. My goodness, I, I literally just put that other guy in the cooler and this guy hits. All right, this is too much fun tonight. Come on out of there, come on out of there. Look, uh, pomp number four, man, this is too, too good. Pomp number four, awesome fish, but I can only keep three, so I gotta get rid of him. Winter time surf fishing can become extremely slow. Um, there's a lot of days you're gonna come out here and you may sit for two, three, four hours and never get a bite. I mean, obviously that can happen spring, summer, and fall, but the odds of it happening in the winter time definitely go up. I mean, it, it just becomes more tough. The fish just aren't as active on a lot of days. There's some days where you're gonna come out here and you're gonna hammer fish. I mean, it, it happens still. But those those days are fewer and far between. Okay, there we go. I thought I got cut off for a second there. I kind of catch up to him. And this is the first time the sun has popped out all evening long. 
got us another little permit. Cool. <laughs> I hadn't caught one of these guys in a couple years. And this is the second one. Tiny little guys. But it's still a super, super cool catch. All right, guys, another permit. I, I, it had been, it, it's been at least two years since I've lucked in to found one of these. And this is the second one I've caught in just two weeks. I mean, literally last week I, I caught one and, and I found another one tonight. They're both small guys. I, I'm gonna put them both back, but a super, super cool fish to find. All right, guys, I am starting to get chilly. The, the temperature has really cooled off the past 30 minutes or so. Uh, but as always, I appreciate you guys watching. I know it's, it's not a big channel, but every time I get a view, a like, a subscriber, it, it, it means more to me than you'll ever realize. Cause I'm trying to, trying to build this channel and, and it's not been easy, but again, thanks for watching. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. So until next time, I'll see you later.